this is Carl and I'm a member of an organization in Sacramento called Hacker Lab. It is part hacker space, part maker space, and part co-working space. Hackers want to learn code. Makers want to create things. I went in there for a 3D class the other day and talked to Alan Ware, who's an engineer who specializes in 3D design and production, and he was running the 3D printer class. Here's a bit from him. All right, I'm Alan Ware. Uh, we're here at Hacker Lab. I just wanted to give you a short overview of the 3D printers that we got here. So over here, these are two printer bots, which are donated, or which are donated from PrinterBot. That's P-R-I-N-T-R bot, Print our bot. Um, they were nice enough to donate for us, and we have them available for our members to use. Uh, they're both, uh, both these are use ABS plastic, which is the same plastic that uh, Legos are made out of. So it's a pretty strong plastic, good for prototyping a lot of parts. And if you come down here, uh, take my class here at Hacker Lab, and join up. Uh, you can use these, you can have these to use at your disposal for whatever product you want to prototype. Uh, what we also have is this uh, Dimension SST uh, printer, which we run as a service. And uh, this is a slightly more um, complicated advanced printer than the, than the two here. It runs on a similar principle, and, but it has its own uh, chamber where it can print up to a 10 inch by 10 inch by 12 inch volume. Uh, on this, they print in on these, uh, on these plates. And so and, uh, the print starts on these plates and then uh, goes in there and it's pretty much almost like the fire and forget it. <laughs> So this is also available to be printed on for a uh, maybe not quite not so quite now, but depending on your application, um, you know, either one of these might be good for you. You can check out more from Alan and find out more about 3D printing on his website. He's got a whole bunch of links there, so go ahead and check that out. If you're in Sacramento, check out Hacker Lab. And uh, if not, find your own place somewhere around your city where people are doing similar things. Sorry about the audio in the background. Somebody was using a laser cutter, but you know what? That's what happens when you're at the Hacker Lab. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like it if you like it.